atop the breathtaking cliffs and valley that you call home, we pause to break our pleasant bush roam. Armed with all the appropriate survival gear, thermos, sangers, binoculars, but take note, no beer, we romped and cavorted like a couple of dags, oblivious to your gentle and silent presence just below the crag. It was a much more observant friend who pointed you out, and from that captivating moment onwards, no more did we shout. Mesmerised, spellbound, we oohed and aahed in tones very hushed to keep this magic moment from being prematurely lost and crushed. Tucked into the crevice, gathering warmth from the reflected rays, your sturdy brush tail ensured you and your baby on the rock safely stayed. Tantalisingly cute, I had to remind myself of your nature free and wild and that in protecting your young, you'd be far from mild. More big intakes of breath because then there were three. Let's call this one Dad, joining you and Joey. With things to do and places to be, Dad stayed only long enough for a scratch and a look-see. Satisfied that all was well in the surrounds, with ever so easy leaps, up and over the rocks he bound. There it goes. Oh, wow. In tranquility, you and Joey on your rock ledge stayed. No place here for human stress and nerves brittle and frayed. May this little story serve to remind when in tense knots our lives we bind that in wild creatures' sacred home grounds their gifts of peace and wonder can be found.